Previously on Advancements in Healthcare, we saw Dr. Anthony Romeo perform a total shoulder replacement and then followed our patient during the beginning stage of his recovery. Now at six weeks, Paul has the green light to progress to the next phase of recovery. Go ahead and I want you to head up here and I'll put this pillow on your knees to reduce some of the strain on your back. The next step for Paul is that he was provided with a new prescription for physical therapy to guide him and his physical therapist from six to 12 weeks. The therapist will help him stretch his shoulders, but also strengthen the rotator cuff, the deltoid muscle, and the muscles around the scapula. At six weeks, we started to move into more active motions. We also started using just some band work, some really light resistant bands. And little by little, you're just trying to create a little bit of resistance, but not too much. You're just gonna walk forward and let your arms come out in front of you just like this? A lot of reps, that's the key. My therapist said it, Dr. Romeo said it. It's repetitions of these light items that really allow the shoulder to heal. Doesn't hurt. Good. Just get a little stiff, a little bit. You'd probably call it you know, fatigue from just the motion. I noticed every three or four days, you could see a little bit more accomplishment. It's the little progression every single day. At three months, Paul visited Romeo Orthopedics once again, so the team could determine if those small progressions have made a difference. And that looks really nice too. So this is really nice motion. Oh, yeah. It's been three months since his shoulder replacement and Paul is right on track. He's happy, he's accomplished all the goals that we have set for him. It felt good to just start doing those motions again, yeah. but still being cautious. We'll look for his improvements in his range of motion and we'll start to see those improvements in his strength, his ability to raise his arm up with good power or rotate his arm in an outward direction. Huge accomplishment in things that I could do. It was pretty amazing holding my arm literally almost straight up, no pain. Elbows tucked in at your yeah. side, hands out. All of that just confirms for both Paul and I that he's progressing in the right direction. We'll then check his x-rays and I like to actually show them what's inside their shoulder and then finally go over, okay, now you're at this point, what are we gonna do for the next three months? With another successful checkup accomplished, Paul was able to progress with a variety of new exercises with increasing weight and motion. Your motion's looking really good. I'm really glad that this is getting better and I'm glad your doctor is happy with this motion too. We are encouraging Paul to advance his activities, advance his strengthening, but it has to be a slow, steady progress, understanding that the next set of improvements is gonna be over three months. Just slow on the way back up, just to about here. Good. Now a lot of the therapy I'm doing isn't just resistant bands, now it's actually moving weights. I can see that as each week goes by, it becomes more and more natural and you can feel some of those old tendencies to come back. The key thing that most patients want when they have this operation is they want to have pain relief, and Paul has that. Now the last thing is getting his function back. It's been a pleasure to work with him for these first three months, and, and I know over the next three months he's going to achieve uh, the goals that both he and I uh, were hoping for before we even performed the procedure. It's really exciting because there's so many things that I didn't think I'd ever be able to do and enjoy, and now I know there's things that I can accomplish. There isn't anything that'll hold me back. Next week on Advancements in Healthcare, we'll come to the end of Paul's shoulder replacement journey and learn the key takeaways of the entire shoulder replacement process. If you're having shoulder or elbow pain or questions about treatment options, visit RomeoOrthopedics.com to find out the best treatment options for you.